Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create an effect similar to that of photographer Jill Greenberg. Now her effect is achieved uh, using a lot of lighting in the studio when shooting the picture and also some post-processing in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to get a similar result uh, using only Photoshop. This is one of a series of crying babies that she's quite well known for. And here we have another one, that's Gwen Stefani. But take a look at the background on both this picture and the other pictures. It's kind of a bluish gray, then with a light source in the middle, often placed right behind the, s the subject. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's see here. I have a picture here of Jewel Kilcher. I have cropped her out of the background and I'm going to assume that you already know how to do that. I'm not going to show you. There are plenty of videos on YouTube that show you how to extract a person from a background. So check one of those out. And another thing I'm not going to show you and that I'm not going to do because Jewel has perfect skin in this picture. But it's quite important to smooth the skin, remove blemishes, maybe even use some sort of action or plug in a skin smoothener of some kind to make the skin look flawless. Again, I'm not going to show you. Uh, go to YouTube and uh, search for Photoshop, uh, digital makeup and stuff like that, and you can learn how to do that. Okay, first we need to create a layer underneath this layer, a new blank layer. So hold on Control, Control, and press this new layer icon. That makes a new layer below your current layer. We're going to go over here to the default colors, change it so white is the foreground, then click on black and go in here and we're gonna find sort of that bluish gray that's fine and press on the gradient tool over here make sure that you up here you have the radial gradient chosen and make sure that you have foreground background selected and then press OK then place your mouse somewhere in the center of your face hold down shift click and drag Let's try and stop there and see what happens. You can do this a couple of times. Go out further just to get perfect. I'm going to stick with that. Okay. Now here comes the interesting part. Go up to Image, Mode, and down to Lab Color. It's going to ask you if you want to merge the layers. You say Yes or Merge. Go over here to your Channels palette. Click on the Lightness channel, like so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to burn and dodge this image. So, go over here and choose your burn tool. Set the range to shadows and exposure somewhere around 15 to 20, something like that. And we're going to zoom in a little bit. And you want to I'm going to do this way too quickly just to show you, but you want any everywhere there's a shadow, you want to make that darker using the burn tool. You want to exaggerate it. So we're just going to do that, change the brush size, there's not this that much shadow on her face in this particular picture, but there's a lot of shadow on the body, which is good, so burn those in as well, the collarbone right here, and there are some lighter shadows right here, but make sure you get those and up here, because that is going to look really good the cleavage is going to make some shadows over here let's see what else we got spend a lot of time on this to get it right obviously I'm doing this quickly just to show you and give you an idea and also do something in the hair as well make it darker okay and once we've finished with the burn tool we want to change to the dodge tool range set to highlights the exposure have 15 percent you just want to try out and then you do the opposite everywhere there's a highlight you go over it with the dodge tool again 
zoom in. do some in the hair as well. Some highlights in the hair. And basically this is it. This is the whole secret to doing this. So just spend a lot of time on that. Okay. Once you've you've done done that, click back on lab. Go back to image and mode and go back to RGB color. And go back to your layers palette. And look at that. I'm not completely satisfied with the face, but like I say, spend lots of time on it. But the body, look at how those shadows and highlights look really good. Last thing you can do is go to filter and go to sharpen and go to unsharp mask. And you can sharpen it up a little bit. Again, to your preference, however you like it. That's fine. And let's see the before. This was the before picture, and this is the after. Before and after. Okay, that's it. Uh, play around with it. Play around with it a lot more and get a much better effect. But this is uh, a way to achieve that sort of Jill Greenberg look in an easy way. But uh, I hope you liked it, and I hope you <coughs> learned something. And leave me a comment, and I will see you soon.